So we just did a walking tour around uh, the old city of Dubrovnik. It's really beautiful today. It's sunny. I don't know. We're just making lunch, hanging out. I'm not sure what we're going to do later. So the walking tour we did was a Game of Thrones walking tour. And they brought us up here in this fort to show us a bunch of places in the city and on the walls here that they filmed. And they actually did a lot of the filming here too. There's this walkway here that was used in a couple of scenes and there's a courtyard here right behind you where uh, King Joffrey stood and you can see this is like the Black Sea. And they obviously CGI'd a lot of it but this is King's Landing and the sport we're in right now is the Red Keep. It's pretty cool. So they filmed Game of Thrones here from season two until season five, right? Or is it season six? six it might be season six. They're on eight now. And I think they still film here, here and there. But yeah, the tour guide said when they, when they filmed here, they had to block out a large part of the old city so tourists couldn't go in. When that happens, they basically paid a bunch of money to all the businesses they have to close that day while filming. And the houses around. Oh, and the houses. They said um, there's that scene with uh, Cersei when she does her walk of shame and there's like uh, windows from the houses nearby and they, she said that they paid 100 euro per window. Per window. Per day to keep it closed yeah. during the filming. <laughs> That's pretty good money. Yeah. Mm, good water. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. Oysters and calamari. Hopefully it will be good. You excited? Go! <laughs> Tastes like the ocean. Is that good or bad? It's good. It's close. <laughs> Does it supposed to taste like the ocean? Well, there's no sand in it, which is good. <laughs> Very smooth, which is good. Finally, a sunny day in 18 degree weather and we get to climb today right pretty much right next to the to the sea and we parked right there for the past two nights to sleep. It's nice and quiet, no one's bothering us except you know a few local fishermen here and there but that's about it. But this place is pretty cool. And we're doing a climb here right next to an old abandoned church that was built into the rock. Time for Phil to go swimming. So Phil, what happened? Stuck on a sea urchin. A sea urchin? Sea urchin. A baby one? I think so. It's only my left foot, not my right foot. <laughs> and I'm there's... like 10 years in there right now. <laughs> Try, so now we're driving to the mall and uh, trying to get a needle. Yes, what have we tried so far? Uh, warm water with, with vinegar in it. We have tweezers, but... Yeah. They're a little 
little bit too deep in there right now. We need a, we need a needle. And tried uh, some nail clippers. This doesn't work either, so needle it is. Here's Phil having so, so my soak his foot in some vinegar. So to soak it within, I don't know, half an hour to 40 minutes, and we'll see. And we bought needles, and we've got my tweezers, so I think we're good to go. Phil's checking on his spikes. You see that, guys? Oh, that's so sad. Looks like it's just a few... One really big one that's super deep, we couldn't get out. Gross. We're in the town of Zadar, and we just found a wedding. like a lot of solar panels. So it turns out this is actually a solar model. That's the sun and these are the planets. This one's Earth. There's Mars. And Phil's over there at Jupiter. And those are fish. Walking around Zadar at night. Nobody around. I can't see your face. Okay. See the lights. This is pretty cool. It's like a, it's like disco. It's a nightclub. Look at this giant pizza. <laughs> It only costs eight bucks. It's pretty good. We're walking around in Zatar right now, and it's really boring. <laughs> There's nothing here but shops and yachts. It is Sunday, so everything's closed. Oh yeah, it's pretty though. It's very pretty and very quiet. There's not many people here. Yeah. Here we are in Paklenica National Park. Phil is on the wall, climbing a 6A. It's right off the trail, it's a bit polished, but it's alright. Climbing. <laughs> Bless you. Phil's got allergies. Yeah, I'm really bad. Pretty bad here in the national park. Sneezing non stop. That's our friend Christian. He lost his shoes, so he's climbing in sneakers. Pretty impressive. And here's a view of the canyon. 
There's the road down there that we drive in and park down that way. We're trying to find our climb for tomorrow. And there's a bunch of coats. <laughs> I mean, if we want to do sports, that's what I want. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You can bring it. It's not. We don't have to have it on our gear then. Okay. Um. So. Found the climb. Ten pitches all the way up. Here we have Phil, ever the attentive belayer. <laughs> We are on fourth pitch. This is the fourth pitch. Yes. Fourth pitch. Out of ten. Six more to go. There's another couple behind us, but I think they're on a different route. Mm -hmm. Other than that, just us and two other people. Can we see the sea over there? We are on pitch number eight. I mean, we just, yes, starting pitch eight. Only two more pitches. We made it. Well, guys, we made it. Back to the parking lot. Car is still here. Didn't get taken away, which is nice because we didn't have a parking pass today. Anyway, time to go home and celebrate.